Live Earth is an event developed to increase environmental awareness through entertainment. Topic: Background. Founded by Emmy-winning producer Kevin Wall, in partnership with former U.S. Vice President Al Gore, Live Earth was built upon the belief that entertainment has the power to transcend social and cultural barriers to move the world community to action. Live Earth seeks to leverage the power of entertainment through integrated events, media, and the live experience to ignite a global movement aimed at solving the most critical environmental issues of our time. <laughs> live Earth 2007 The first series of benefit concerts were held on July 7, 2007. The concerts brought together more than 150 musical acts in 11 locations around the world and were broadcast to a mass global audience through television, radio, and live Internet streams. Live Earth India 2008 The second Live Earth concert was scheduled for December 7, 2008 at the Andheri Sports Complex on Veera Desai Road in Andheri West, Mumbai, India and was managed by Kevin Wall who, after a request from former U.S. Vice President Al Gore, planned to have the entire event take place in India. In September, 2008 Reuters stated that, "...the December event will see U.S. rocker John Bon Jovi and Bollywood's biggest superstar, Amitabh Bachchan share the stage, and is described by organizers as one of the biggest events held in India." Shekhar Kapoor, Nobel laureate Rajendra Pakhauri, Abhishek Bachchan, and Aishwarya Rai also planned to star in the event. Additional acts included Shankar Esan Loy, Rithik Roshan, Preeti Zinta, Roger Waters of Pink Floyd, Will.I.Am, Hardcore, and Anushka Shankar. Palash Sen stated that his band, Euphoria, was scheduled to launch a song written for the concert on the topic of global warming. Live Earth would have been broadcast by Star TV Asia, which works in conjunction with the Star Plus Channel United Kingdom, Middle East, and the Star World Channel. MSN was the exclusive global broadband partner for Live Earth India. The concert was cancelled shortly after the November 2008 Mumbai attacks on November 26, 2008. Wall, Gore, and Pakhauri stated in a joint press release that, "...due to circumstances far beyond our control, we are saddened to announce that Live Earth India has been cancelled." We will continue to work for solutions to the climate crisis for the good of the people of India and around the world. But for now, our thoughts and our prayers are with the victims of this terrible attack, with the bereaved, with the people of Mumbai and with everyone in India." Some argued against the cancellation stating that Music could have helped fear hardened Mumbai to ride the storm. Jethro Tull and Anushka Shankar, who also cancelled the the 29th of November Mumbai concert after the November 2008 Mumbai attacks, reorganized the performance as a Billion Hands concert, a benefit performance for victims of the attacks, and held it in Mumbai on December 5, 2008. Topic: Dow Live Earth Run for Water. 
The Dow Live Earth Run for Water took place April 18, 2010 and consisted of a series of 6 km run, walks the average distance many women and children walk every day to secure water taking place over the course of 24 hours in countries around the world, featuring concerts and water education activities aimed at igniting a tipping point to help solve the water crisis. Jessica Beale, Alexandra Cousteau, Pete Wentz, Angelique Kidjo and Jenny Fletcher were due to lend their names and their time in support. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Controversy Before and after the event there was concern over the sponsorship of the run for water by Dow Chemical, whose sponsorship of this event has been described as, "...the ultimate in greenwashing." Given Dow's ownership of Union Carbide, their refusal to clean up the Bhopal site, plus their direct responsibility for groundwater poisoning incidents in Morrisonville, Louisiana and the Titaborasi River in Michigan. Their much-publicized water filtration plants in India have failed because the local population cannot afford to replace the expensive high-tech filters. Topic: Host cities. The Dow Live Earth Run for Water was hosted by about 200 cities around the world, including Amsterdam, Atlanta, Brussels, Buenos Aires, Cairo, Cape Town, Chicago, Chongqing, Copenhagen, Hong Kong, Istanbul, Jakarta, Jerusalem, Jambaran, Karachi, Lima, Lisbon, Los Angeles, Manila, Melbourne, Mexico City, Minneapolis, Monterey, Montreal, New York City, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, San Diego, Santiago, Santo Domingo, Seattle, Singapore City, Sydney, Toronto, Vancouver and Washington, D.C. <laughs> Live performances Many of the cities featured live entertainment following the 6K run, walk. Artists include Melissa Etheridge in Los Angeles with The Roots, special guest John Legend in Brooklyn's Prospect Park, Rob Thomas in Atlanta, Collective Soul with special guest Sam Moore in Chicago, Canny Garcia in Mexico City, Kevin Johansson and The Nada in Buenos Aires, and Slank in Bali. Cancellations and protests Demonstrations against the run had been planned by the International Campaign for Justice in Bhopal. The Dow sponsorship of the run for water was protested by organizations representing the victims of the Bhopal tragedy, supported by Amnesty International. Planned events were also cancelled in Milan, in New Delhi. The event was protested by a group of activists who disguised their involvement by creating a fictitious front organization, the Hindustan Sea Turtle Alliance, to register their event with Live Earth. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Beneficiaries. All donations raised by the Dow Live Earth Run for Water will be disseminated to fund sustainable and scalable water programs. A growing global network of NGO partners including Global Water Challenge, A Child's Right, AKVO, Fondo para la Paz, Indonesia Water Partnership, Leon Aid, Pump Aid, Wildlands Conservation Trust, and many others. Topic. See also List of historic rock festivals List of pop music festivals Climate change Earth Hour 
Global warming Hurricane Katrina Individual and political action on climate change Politics of global warming Save ourselves <laughs>